With all the talk of the strongest stance in JoJo, I thought that a definitive look of what actually the weakest stance in JoJo is would make for quite an interesting video. So from part 3 to 8, here's a list of some of the weakest stands featured in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, with the definitive weakest stand finally being chosen. This list is filled with all the lame stands that make you think why would anyone want that stand? Though my consideration for what makes a lame or a bad stand comes down to the following two things the effectiveness of their power, and the practical use if you had them. So I won't add stands like Holy Stand, since everyone knows it sucks. Same with evolving stands like Echo's Act 1 and Tusk Act 1, since I think that Tusk for example is all 4 acts combined and not just the first. Also, specific stands that might be useless for you, but rather useful for a person with a particular skill set will not be featured, like the stand Manhattan Transfer being very useful for a trained marksman like John Gallier. So basically, these stands featured will all be rather useless for everyone. So without further ado, let's talk about some disappointingly weak stands. <laughs> Starting off with a stand that most of you expected, Survivor is an automatic and thus uncontrollable stand, which unlike most stands, simply creates general chaos by manipulating people around it. It doesn't have any real use besides causing mayhem in the hopes that its intended victims die. Its aggressiveness stimulation, as the name implies, dramatically increases the aggressiveness of everyone that's under its spell. Dio himself describes this as the weakest stand. Of course, Dio was referring it to being useless in his organization as he felt a stand that cost divination instead of unifying his loyal servants had no use for him. Survivor travels across wet surfaces and stimulates the human Livnik or fighting spirit. Any feelings of aggressiveness will be greatly multiplied to the point that those affected by Survivor will fight each other with reckless abandon. The reason this stand is rather useless is because those affected do not discriminate between friend or foe, especially if you're the one who laid down the stand trap. This prompts one to ask, why would you want this ability if it has the potential to backfire on you? Well, imagine this. This stand could very well work if you stayed hidden from the people that you laid down the trap for, which is exactly what Survivor's stand user does to try to avoid the mayhem that persists. Overall, the stand is still pretty weak, which is why it deserves a spot as one of the weakest stands in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Alright, you know the one thing that most of these stands have in common? It's the fact that they're mobile, or at the very least you can summon them to fight for you and then you can make them go away so you can go about your day, right? But what if I told you that there is a stun that you can't even move, and if you try to leave, it will literally kill you? Superfly is one of the strongest stuns in JoJo, but if you simply compare its usefulness if you had the stun, then it quickly becomes quite awful. If the stun user attempts to escape, then they will be covered in steel, restricting their movements. It is quite possible that the victim could be fully covered if they do not pull themselves back in time making any would-be escapees absorbed into the tower itself. But what if this thing could move? Like, seriously imagine how terrifying it would be if this thing could be summoned out of nowhere, like any other stand. They could trap foes inside, maybe leave them there to rot with no idea how to become self-sufficient, and then take them out that way. But it doesn't do that, it just remains where it always is, in the outskirts of Morio, far away from civilization, where no one could possibly bother you. <sighs> Damn. I previously said that it's one of the strongest stands in the series, and for good reason. This comes from its damage reflection. To protect itself, Superfly absorbs and reflects any damage done to its surface back at the attacker. Seemingly having no restrictions to this reflection ability, Superfly cannot be destroyed, making it indescribably strong. But I do not think that a single person would want this useless stand if it meant that they could not leave the tower itself. Well, I guess I don't really leave my room anyway, so. <sighs> Anyways, moving on to another stand that's more of a curse than a useful ability. Melagroman's ability, at its most basic, is that the stand can create and duplicate money. The money also appears to be generated from the corners of the other bills, out of thin air as well, and none of the bills are exactly identical. Sounds great, right? Anyone afflicted by the Melagroman's power will constantly earn money until they are literally buried in cash eventually resulting in their death via crushing or suffocation. No matter how hard you try to spend or destroy the money, it will always return, and somehow there will be even more money than you originally spent. The only way to escape the Melagroman's power is to return the money to the previous owner, or have the money destroyed by another person, after which the Melagroman's power is transferred to the new victim. Overall, the stand might seem great at first, but after quickly realizing that the stand slowly is trying to kill you, it makes it rather terrifying. 
and without any offensive capabilities, it leaves it as a pretty bad stand to have. But you know, I would gladly accept it. Moving on to a controversial stand, that if it actually was correct, then it would be incredibly strong. Alright, listen, Hey Ya from Steve Ball Run is rather weak, guys. Most people think that it brings luck, which if it did, it would make it one of the strongest stands in the series. But instead, the stand makes you think that you're lucky. Lots of lucky things happened to Poco Loco when he used the stand. However, as confirmed, the stand itself did not make it user lucky. It's more like a friendly frog stand in its simplest form. But really, Hey Ya has no combat ability whatsoever and seems functionally useless apart from boosting its user's confidence with encouraging words and brief advice. The stand's seemingly prophetic vision appears to be limited to the stand's own knowledge and does not give the user the ability to see into the future. Pokoloko himself thinks that he's lucky. But overall, it's very useless. Other than being a great motivational speaker, Hey Ya does basically nothing for the average person. But it's still a great reference. Alright, I guess the weakest stand is next, but before that, let's go through some of the honourable mentions. Since there's so many stands left out, I thought that why not show some interesting ones. King Nothing's ability to track sense is honestly really cool, however it is quite weak when compared to the other stands in Jojo. Mamma mia! Talking Head might seem cool on paper, making the victims say the opposite of what they mean, but overall it's pretty pathetic for Diabolo's bodyguard. Ticket to Ride's ability of divine protection is rather... meh. And of course, Rolling Stones, being a quite a strong stand actually, but you can't really control it and it kinda just does its own thing, which is why I put it at the honorable mentions. Okay, I made you wait long enough. The weakest stand in all of Jojo's Psa Adventure, of course, is from Stone Ocean, and it is... Highway to Hell. Highway to Hell possesses no combat ability whatsoever, and the ability to share damage with its user is just sad honestly. I mean, if you don't have a pathological suicidal tendency, then it's basically the weakest stand in all of JoJo's, since you actually have to die to even harm someone. Notorious B.I.G. at least had an incredible powerful stand unleashed when the user dies. Highway to Hell is just bad, since only one target can be affected by the suicidal stand, that is, Highway to Hell. But that's just my list of the weakest stands. Feel free to leave any suggestions of stands in the comments. I know that I probably forgot about someone, but anyways, thank you for watching, and as usual... Arrivederci!